Hey, I'm Massimo Capra. Welcome to my kitchen. This is Capra's Kitchen in Mississauga. One of my favorite salads, especially in the winter time, you know, when the lettuce is a little scarce, radicchio. And this is one of the favorite in my house because my wife, Rosa, being from Treviso, they love to eat radicchio, and I have it right here. When you take radicchio home from the supermarket, okay, normally it's a little wilted, it's a little, it's a little ugly. Radicchio loves water. So what I do is I cut the radicchio, and then I put it plunged in water, and I keep it submerged. This will last me for like weeks. Instead of using a spinner, I'm going the old-fashioned ways. And then we're gonna anoint everybody that is here. Oh, what do you know? Bowl, put the radicchio in, you could just dress it up and by all means, what we like in my family is a, a dressing, a warm dressing with anchovies, onions, vinegar and olive oil. That is a great eat. Radicchio can stand up to a little bit of heat, okay? And the heat, I'm not talking about spice, I'm talking about heat, a nice warm dressing. So I'm gonna show you right away what I'm doing. A little bit of oil in the bottom of a pan. Let it warm up because I have to cut the onion. So I like a nice amount of onion. I don't wanna be cheap with my onions, okay? Love onion in every state. Slightly cooked, they can be overcooked, they can be undercooked, I don't care. I love onions. Now, a pinch of sugar, a pinch of salt. You gotta be careful with the salt because we're putting anchovies. Enough oil to uh, wilt the onions. I don't like to overcook them either because they're going in a salad, so I want a little bit of the crunch, the sweetness that comes out of an onion. Rosa, I'm making radicchio salad. That's it. Here goes in the anchovy. How much anchovies, Rosa? Okay. Now, remember when you buy anchovies, to buy always a very good anchovy. If it tastes dry and it tastes too salty, that ain't a good anchovy, okay? The best would be to have the one in salt and then you rinse them and you put them in milk and uh, you know, you let them revive a little bit and then you, you take away the bone and then you chop them. But that's an enormous amount of work. I don't think almost anybody is doing that. Especially, you know, I'm talking about always from the viewpoint of a restaurant. Anchovies and radicchio, it's a match made in heaven. So we want our anchovies pre-chopped, but then we're gonna cook them and they are going to cream up and you're not gonna see them in the, in the salad, just like uh, the one for the Caesar salad. I don't wanna completely dissolve them. Starting to fry a little too much, so I'm adding my vinegar. And keep your nose away from it because uh, this gets in your nose, it's gonna make you cough for a half hour. See how nice and creamy this is? Now I want most of the vinegar acidity to really disappear. <laughs> he hasn't yet. Put a little bit of oil in it, a little bit of pepper. There you go, I wanna see it. Now this is a, a basic, most beautiful salad. And then you just uh, put it right on, like that. Mix, mix, mix. The radicchio will uh, absorb. Grab a fork instead of uh, moaning and groaning over there. This is a beautiful salad. Okay, and it's absolutely delicious in its simplicity. Yeah, go ahead, Rosa. Woo, baby. I can't wait. This is my favorite. Yeah, I'm just doing this. Uh -huh. Chef style. You don't need anything else. See all of the uh, onion with all the anchovies, and the flavor is just absolutely perfect. Okay, that's a simple recipe that even you can make at home very easily. Make sure you subscribe and come back next week for more recipes.